Alright, I'm going to be making an uh, Electro House song for you. Uh, I guess it's kind of a tutorial because I'm going to try to explain what I'm doing as I'm doing it. So, um, what I have here, what I have opened here. I, let me explain a couple things first. Um, my voice is loud, I know. Uh, it's, it's annoying. You can, like, hear me, like, sniff and shit and, like, breathe. But, uh, just, just bear with it. I'm going to try to make the song in under an hour. Uh, probably won't happen, but I'm going to try to do it anyway. Um, I'm going to upload it in parts if I can't upload the whole video. So, what else? Let me think, let me think. Um, I don't really know what I'm making yet. Uh, I was just messing around, made this little short melody here. You can pause the screen to get the exact melody. Uh, however, it's not important that you do. You can make your own melody. Um, I'm going to be moving quick, like really quick. So pause the screen if you need something. Or ask me in the comments if you miss something. So first thing before I get started, I just make a new new project. This is a software instrument track. And then S2 synthesizer. Uh, I'm going to be using all Logic Pro sounds, Logic Pro X sounds, and I'm going to make the drums available to everyone in the description, so, because the drums, you guys don't get with Logic Pro X, uh, they're actually my drums, but I'll give them to you in the description, if you want them, uh, so this is a new project, make it 128 beats per minute, Obviously, for a house song. Go to smart and do absolute value. And drop the pencil tool here. And go to the ES2 synthesizer. Where it says instrument. Or E piano, it should say for you. Miami lead. Holly. And then here's what the melody sounds like. Uh, here I'll beat the melody up here so you can see it. Super simple. Easy to make. You should have no issue with that. So I'm going to add another layer here. Oh yeah, and I'm not making the intro. I'm making the melody right now, obviously. I'll make the intro based off what I make for this melody. Synth chords, techno chords, which these are really nice sounding techno chords. They're, they're pretty thick. And go to this dial and make it say 0S right there. Command key. I'm holding down and I'm clicking, so made a region right there. Now I'm going to hold command down again and press the note. adding notes, uh, counter melody notes, that'll sound nice. Copy this. Since I don't want it to be a baseline necessarily, I'm going to move this up here. And 
this loud, so I'm going to turn the volume down. I'm going to put an EQ on the effects over here, and take the bass out, because it's very bassy, I don't want this to be my sound for bass. Okay. So, another thing on the... Uh, I'm not going to fuck with that yet. I'll add a compressor on it later. If you want to, you can add middle notes and make this a full chord. I don't really feel like doing this, but I guess I'll do it now. Obviously, I'm going to take the lazy way out and not F with that. But if you want to take the time to do that, you can certainly do that. I'm just trying to get this tutorial, tutorial done quickly as I check my text. Hold on. I just got a text. Okay. So here's our... Let's add reverb on this lead. It sounds like a really dry lead and I hate that sound. also really dry too so we can put some reverb on the chords all right there we go I'm double I just double clicked right there to make the new track for the new track I'm actually gonna go over here to your briefcase or whatever the hell it's called you know, looks like a filing cabinet. Um, search piano. Where the F is that piano? Oh, yeah. Go to a grand piano pad. And now we're going to make another counter melody. Oh, kind of counter melody. Just to add more life to it.
I'm gonna make these tasty, as you could say. up the volume because they're very quiet. Why is it late? It sounds like it sounds like shit is off. Um, what's up here? Here is my issue. And as you could hear, it sounds like it's off. It is, it is off. This one to be longer too. This net. Oh, let's play it and see what it sounds like. All right. Uh, I don't like the sound of that that much, so I'll just change it later. Let's add a bass line. So another track, and we're gonna do an ES2 synthesizer. Um, I think this one is in synth, yeah, pulsar. It's a nice sounding bass line, actually. Uh, what I'm going to do for this bass line is I'm actually going to take this copy. That's the techno chords. I'm going to add a region. I don't like that right here. Okay, I'm going to keep that like that for now. I still don't like it, but um, whatever. I don't really give a shit. So I'm going to move. Uh, I do give a shit. But I'm going to move all that over. And now I'm going to add some drums to this melody. And then 
I play the song and start breathing. New audio shit. New. <sighs> okay, so what I just did is I added a new audio track, and on the audio track, I'm gonna put a kick that I have. And for this kick, it's a kick that only I have. Shit. Okay, hold on. <laughs> okay. What I'm trying to say is for the for the kick and the drums that I'm using, the percussion, uh, they're only drums that I have. They're not Logic Pro X's drums. So I'm going to give you the drums in the description. I don't know if I said that already. So I'm going to add the drums. As you can see, I'm organized as shit. Fuck it. I'm just gonna steal a kick from that song, Invincible. I'll give you the kick in the description, so don't worry. I'm going to add a uh, compressor to it. Also, this is important. You're going to go to where it says send. Put on bus 5. Put the meter up to 0. I've been doing for 18 minutes. I got. I, I guess I'm doing pretty good for 18 minutes. Now we're gonna make uh, compress everything to that kick, and that is so important. This is if you're gonna take one thing from this video, let it be this. For the audio effects, I'm on. I'm meaning the bass line. Click on the bass line track. Go to audio effects. Add a compressor, and remember we just added bus 5 to the kick, so we're going to sidechain this to bus 5, and I'll let you hear it. It ducks with every time a kick hits. Here's what it sounds like without the compressor. It crashes into the bay. It can't crash the bass line and the kick crash into each other. Now with the compressor on, it ducks. If you can't hear that, um, maybe you'll hear it with the chords. So now I'm going to add a compressor to the chords. That's five. So this is with the compressor off, this is with it on. You can hear every time, uh, you can watch, every time a kick hits, it ducks away the chords to make your song bouncier and uh, more aggressive and more dynamic sounding and more professional sounding.
another thing is these annoying ass pads. Gotta go. So I'm gonna try to duck the shit out of these. I barely like them. Finally, uh, I'm not going to duck the lead away, actually. I'm going to keep the lead how it is, because I don't mind the lead at all not being compressed to the kick. So, now I'm going to make it. Uh, I'm going to do the intro. Now, wait, fuck it. <laughs> I didn't do the other drums yet. So now I'm gonna add a kit or a uh, clap. And again, I'll put this clap in the description for you. Sorry if I'm unorganized and really bad at this. Uh, tutorial. I just I suck at the shit, but whatever. I like that one. I want a short kick for this, and I'm gonna put it on every other quarter note if that's a quarter note. Just simply copying and uh, pasting, or I'm actually repeating, but it's the same thing. Make sure it's exactly on the shit. I don't like the sound of that clap, but um, it doesn't matter. If it, if I were to spend a lot of time on this song and try to make it the best sounding song I could make, I would get a better clap than that. But for the sake of the video, I'm just going to keep it. Oh yeah, and the last thing I'm adding here is a closed hi-hat. Fuck for that. Oh, 
Alright, sorry, I won't let me listen to it. Whatever, I'll just, I'll wing it. Take this one. Putting this on every note here. Alright, that sounds, that'll work just fine. Putting it on every tick mark now is going to hit on every little line we have here. And again, if you're missing anything, like if you if if I'm explaining too fast or anything like that. Um, just, just like, in the comments, ask me, or pause the video, like, I'll, I'll answer you if you ask me, on the, on these hi-hats, I'm gonna add a compressor. very loud. Alright, you can see my, my Logic Pro is lagging. So I'm going to restart it because it's getting really annoying. Is it lagging, you fucking bitch? That's annoying. Um, I, I really, I, I really hate those hi hats. <coughs> Whatever, I'll just deal with them for now, though. I'm gonna make um I'm gonna make the intro now with what I got going there. What I just did is I just repeated everything. Same thing as copy and paste in it.
right, uh, another important thing here. I'm going to add automation to both of these. So I'm going to, you see what I did? I click the line, drop down menu, yes to, cut off. Click here, click here, and drag down. Yes to again. Cut off. Why does that sound like shit? Wonder why. Okay, here's another important step. Track. New software instrument track. We're gonna make a white noise sweep. Shit. Yes, two. Go to uh, tutorial settings. And allowed saw in it. Close that. Open this. Drag that down to this point in the audio effects. Let's see. Filter, auto filter. Add an auto filter. Add a bit of residence. Add some reverb. And we're almost good to go. A lot of reverb for this one. Now, we're going to make a region. Add automation. Go to where it says auto filter. Cut off. This Miami lead is, I want it to be one step higher, one octave higher I should say, it's crashing into the chords. Okay, and um, when it goes into the melody here. I don't want the drums to be hitting yet. They can hit next. Now, what I just did there was I selected it and then I did press the command key and then R and it repeated it. Repeated the whole section there. So, let's hear what we got. What do I want to do for this part? I'm going to, uh, first off, 
for... Hmm, hold on, let me... I'm thinking here what exactly I want to do. Um, for this, uh, on the chord, the techno chords, where we're on the uh, cutoff automation line, I'm going to do this. You'll see it uh, intensifies it before we, it'll intensify the whole section before we drop our uh, drums. can listen to this part for another four bars so we're gonna just double that so that's a good that's a good uh, what is that 16 that's a good 16 a good 16 bar length it's actually 17 bars because we have the break but now we're gonna add start the break where we all know what a break is, or the build, not the break. We're actually, sorry if I'm confusing you, we're actually going to call it the break build. Really cheesy section here, but and this is obviously the section. I don't know, hold on, I'll say in a sec. I just selected the automation curve tool. I'm holding down command and just pulling, dragging this down to make it look nice. Back to my pencil. Now, this is a, the drop is obviously gonna start right here. And I do have a drop in mind actually, so. Again, we're gonna add another noise sweep so I'm just gonna command R on this one just get the same exact noise sweep I'm trying to do this quick so Getting all my shit ready. Hopefully you guys like this. I hope the song doesn't sound like shit to you. I just make sure it's all on the right line. And get rid of the automation line here, so. Again, I really apologize if this video just sucks, but I'm still going to make the video if it sucks. Alright. So now, we ha it's going to be, the drop is going to be an exact replica of this, but in a more intense version, like it'll actually sound like a more fun drop to listen to instead of that so what I did was I copied the bass line and I am putting it right here because what's a drop without bass and then um, 
these techno chords will be a part of the draft, so I'm going to double them. But I'm going to go to the automation and make them a more intense version of what you heard over there. So they'll sound like that instead of this. They're quieter over there, so now they're louder over here. And obviously the leads will be a part of our drop too. But I'm going to put a layer, a couple layers on the leads so that um, they sound louder and more of a party. So click the top layer here, or whatever you call it, add a new software instrument. And copy and paste put that there so now it's a layer already so on a new layer we're gonna do this I already have one in mind trance lead you can hear it's super dry so automatically I'm going to put reverb on it and it's really loud a lot louder than I want it to so and they're too low. I want them to be high. Alright, I'm going to try that for now. I don't know if I'm going to keep it just like that, but here's another thing I'm going to do. I'm going to copy these techno chords. Wait, first I'm going to join them. Then I'm going to copy. And then I'm going to put it right here. Yep, sounds like shit. Hold on. the hell is going on here? Okay. I'm gonna bring this up. I'm gonna or add another layer of this to paste and bring it up. Obviously, it's not going to work because it's going to crash into our melody up there. Why does it sound like shit? Oh, okay. It's a voice problem. You gotta click, go back to your ES2 if you're following along. Click on poly, because it's on legato, which means you can only have one note down at one time. So, when it's on molly, you can have, or poly, not molly. <laughs> when it's on poly, you can have more than one note down. Side chain it to the famous bus five, which is our lovely kick, our lovely stolen kick.
make these come all the way over to the next note. Okay, it's still missing a lot of life and I don't really know why I'm gonna bring these piano pads over okay um see if this will help. I'm going to add another layer to the room. Uh, hold on. Let me listen to the whole thing real quick. obviously uh, hmm, because it does not sound like a lively drop at all it just sounds muddy on this clap I'm gonna add reverb on it because the clap does sound like shit go back and listen to the whole thing real quick because this is bothering me. Okay, um, I know what it needs. So I'm gonna click here and just put it right under here, the techno chords. New software instrument track. I need a warm, filling sound that will help just fill your stereo speakers. And it'll just sound nice. full so let me go down to I hope these don't sound too shitty
another thing. This has a lot of white noise on it, this sound, so we don't have to add more white noise to the drop. sound there's a lot of low end so I'm getting to the low end out I don't want it to crash into anything next we're gonna yet again side chain into the kick little effect to it. I'm going to add a filter first. I just started fucking around with this. It's pretty cool when you actually do it right. Add a chord. This like distorted sounding sound that's that for that sound it's one that you're not really supposed to hear but it adds warmth um, and makes your drop really filling. Okay, that sounds, that sounds pretty good. Um, now, let me see how much time I got on this video. Okay, I'm going to end this video here for this part of the song. Then I'm going to make another video uh, if it's requested. Um, you know, fuck that. I'm just going to do it. Um... I was going to make a new video for the break and the next drop, which is going to be the same drop, but, um, 
I'll just try to get it done as quickly as I can. So I had an idea. <coughs> New software instrument. I'm going to do this as quickly as I can. New region here. Add a nice warm pad. Our nice little piano keys to soften up our shit. Piano. Grand piano. Sounds like shit. Is that reverb on it? You have to put reverb on it. Makes everything just sound better. Especially because this is a break.
So a couple really trancey sounding piano keys, but um, whatever it doesn't <laughs> doesn't matter if it sounds remind you of another genre of music. It just shows inspiration in your work. So just for the end of this drop, I'm going to. make us l let the listener know that the end of the drop is coming and by doing that I'm gonna bring the cutoff automation up again feeling that that goes nothing that is has nothing to do with the melody so I'll test it by bringing the melody out Um, normally I would sit there for a couple, for quite some time and figure out the best, uh, keys I could use for the, br for the break right there, like the best piano melody I could use for the break right there. But since I'm trying to get this done, I'm going to keep what I have there. famous noise sweep put it right here at the end of the drop shit um, and also I'm gonna put it right here but instead of listening to that same exact noise sweep, I'm going to do something a little different for the next section of this song. A little bit loud there, and then it's not really going to drop away. It's just going to quiet down again. So, what's next, what's next, what's next? I'm gonna bring back our melody from earlier. And our pads. I'm going to drop everything right there. Obviously this isn't, this is like the first melodical drop. Well, they're all melodical drops, but this is the nice drop, not the, the big drop. going on here let's take our baseline because we're gonna drop that too the 
the hell is the deal here? Oh, fuck. I should put it all in the wrong place. These claps. What the hell happened to them? This should be up here. Alright. Alright. So now, um,. Wrap this song up. Copy. But we're not going to do, we're not going to put it right there. We're actually going to put it right here because we gotta still we gotta put our build which is this this area I'm gonna put it right here Um, all right, so it looks good. Let's see what we got. Right, let me see how much time I got on this. Okay, hour and ten minutes. Let's see if we were able to do it in an hour today. Oh, yeah, uh, let me see some. It's probably going to be finished after I play it and I listen to it, but um, if this were a song I was, I was spending a lot of time on, I obviously would ha I would have way more effects. Instead of 14 layers, I'd probably have around 60 to 100 layers, and I'd have, yeah, like more effects, uh, more sweeps. I'd spend a lot more time on each melody. Uh, my layering would be more precise. But just this is for the purpose of this video, so uh, that's why I made everything so quickly and like what some people would say carelessly. But let's listen to what I have here.
Alright, uh, that sounded alright. Um, so much, there was so, if, if this was gonna be a song that I would keep to represent myself, uh, I'd obviously do so much more to it. But, all of this is, uh, yours. You can take any, any idea from the song and use it for yourself. I'll put the drums in the description of the videos for you guys. Um, and just let me know if you liked it. Thank you.